G'day Trendsetter Stuart here and today I'm talking about planting zucchinis and you might have noticed the back wall there keep an eye on that in the next two weeks we'll, we'll be making a feature in another video All right, trendsetters, in a, a video I posted a couple of weeks ago about um, blossom end rot, blossom end rot problem I'd had with uh, growing zucchinis. And I've already done, <clears throat> as you'll, if I'll put a link up to the video, I've already done about probably three or four weeks ago uh, a lot of pre-preparation here. I've put cow manure in, lime in, something else which I've forgotten at this stage, uh, but I also wanted to put gypsum in, which is the gypsum and the lime for calcium. The lime was to raise the pH uh, a, a little and make the calcium more available to the zucchinis. Uh, zucchinis are quite susceptible to blossom in rot. And I got the gypsum, it won't affect the pH at all. It's, I just put it in mainly for a little bit more gypsum. In the meantime, I've also um, found out that uh, another part of the problem I've got is um, uh, non-fertilisation or, or the, the flowers haven't been fertilised and the, the, the little zucchini, the beginning of a zucchini, uh, the, the flower drops off and it goes black and withers from the end, <coughs> which is from non-pollination. So I've planted these little marigolds around the outside. I'll, I'll pop the rest of those in up that side and, and across the top. There's nothing difficult whatsoever about planting zucchinis. They're a big seed and you just need to poke, poke them in the ground. I'm gonna plant three uh, and I'll pull, I won't pull the biggest the, the weaker ones out I'll pinch them out and just leave the biggest one there if you pull them out you can disturb the root systems of the one that you're keeping so it's best just to pinch them out and, and leave the, the biggest most vigorous seedling uh, I think it's about probably 12 millimeters deep which is halfway up the second knuckle for me and that's it planted. I'll only grow one lot of zucchini each summer because <coughs> they're so prolific. Uh, basically by the time you've gotten through all the zucchinis from one bush you're sick of them and you don't want to do them again. This mulch here, I just this is my 
asparagus patch here. So I just rake that over the asparagus patch. When the zucchinis come through, I'll put fresh <coughs> mulch down for all of this. That's basically it. Zucchinis planted. Um, we've had, we have had over the weekend 36 mils of rain, which is the best rain we've had probably since March. And, and that rain wasn't all that good because it was mixed up in 35, 36 degree days. So as soon as it fell, it almost evaporated away. But the soil's just lovely at the moment. So I think inside a week they'll be up. And that's about it. Uh, fingers crossed between all uh, the lime, the gypsum and the marigolds and everything, I'll have a bumper crop. There is a few other things you can do with zucchinis, um, which I can't show you now because it, it involves a, a growing plant. But as, that, uh, as the plant becomes available to me, I'll make another video on, 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 on trimming some of the older leaves back and uh, I'll have to monitor and see how I go with powdery mildew. And that's about it, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's been some, some use to you. If it has, I'd like you uh, to invite you to subscribe and, uh, and like the videos. It all helps. I'm trying to make the channel um, monetized again, so I need a thousand subscribers according to YouTube. And uh, every click helps. Thank you very much. Did I mention pollination? I'm not sure if I mentioned pollination in, in, yes, I probably did. But the marigolds are to aid pollination, attract bees which will uh, get stuck into the zucchinis at the same time and, and aid pollination.